Subtraction is really like addition. When you can do subtraction, then you can do addition. Ladies and gentlemen, let's tackle all about subtraction of integers. In subtracting integers, all you have to do is to add its opposite. In other words, change the sign of the subtrahend to its opposite and proceed to addition. Now let's have some illustrative examples. Example number 1. 8 minus 5. By applying the general rule in subtracting integers, let's change the sign of the subtrahend to its opposite and proceed to addition. Now 8 minus 5 will become 8 plus negative 5. Now we can solve this problem by using number line. 8. Since 8 is positive, we'll move 8 times from 0 to the right. Plus negative 5. Since 5 is negative, we'll move 5 times from 8 to the left. Now 8 plus negative 5 is equal to positive 3. Now let's proceed to example number 2. Negative 1 minus 1. By applying the general rule in subtracting integers, negative 1 minus 1 would be equal to negative 1 plus negative 1. Now by using number line, we can solve this problem. Negative 1, since 1 is negative, will move 1 time from 0 to the left. Plus another negative 1. Now negative 1 plus negative 1 would be equal to negative 2. Now let's move on to example number 3. Negative 2 minus negative 1. By applying the general rule in subtracting integers, let's change the sign of the subtrahend to its opposite and proceed to addition. Now negative 2 minus negative 1 would become negative 2 plus 1. By using number line, let's solve this problem. Negative 2, since 2 is negative, will move 2 times from 0 to the left. Plus 1, since 1 is positive, will move 1 time from negative 2 to the right. Now negative 2 plus 1 is equals to negative 1. Now let's have our example number 4. 5 minus 5 minus negative 4 minus negative 3. Again, by applying the general rule in subtracting integers, 5 minus 5 minus negative 4 minus negative 3 would now become 5 plus negative 5 plus 4 plus 3. Now, by using number line, let's solve this problem. 5, since 5 is positive, will move 5 times from 0 to the right. Plus negative 5. Since 5 is negative, we'll move 5 times from 5 to the left. Now 5 plus negative 5 is equal to 0. Plus 4. We'll move 4 times from 0 to the right. Plus another 3. Now 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Now let's move on to our fifth example. Negative 100 decreased by negative 40. First, let's write this in mathematical equation. Negative 100 minus negative 40. Now by applying the general rule in subtracting integers, negative 100 minus negative 40 would become negative 100 plus 40. Now, by using number line, let's solve this problem. Negative 100. Since 100 is negative, we'll move 100 times from 0 to the left. Plus 40. Since 40 is positive, we'll move 40 times from negative 100 to the right. Now, negative 100 plus 40 is equal to negative 60. Now let's try to solve this word problem. 
Ken purchased a share of stock for $12. The next day, the price of the stock dropped $6. On the third day, the price dropped again by $4. How much was Ken's stock worth at the end of the third day? Now, the given are $12, $6, and $4. Now, in mathematical equation, it will be written as 12 minus 6 minus 4. Now, by applying the general rule on subtracting integers, 12 minus 6 minus 4 would become 12 plus negative 6 plus negative 4. Now, by using number line, let's try to solve this problem. 12 plus negative 6. 12. Since 12 is positive, we'll move 12 times from 0 to the right. Plus negative 6. Since 6 is negative, we'll move 6 times from 12 to the left. Now, 12 plus negative 6 is equals to 6 plus negative 4. Now, 6 plus negative 4. Since 4 is negative, we'll move 4 times from 6 to the left. Now, 6 plus negative 4 is equals to 2. Now, the question was how much was Ken's stock worth at the end of the third day? Ken's stock worth at the end of the third day was $2. Now, this time, to check whether you understand or not on how to subtract integers, I want you to get a pen and a piece of paper and solve these following problems. God bless and good luck.